<laughs> All right, may we have our next contestant, please? We seem to be replete with Mr. X's this evening. This, again, is Mr. X for the time being. Uh, will you tell us where you're from, Mr. X? Los Angeles, California, Gary. All right, sir. Now, Mr. X, if you will whisper your secret to me, we'll show it to our audience at home. And here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, panel, a clue concerns something Mr. X did. We'll start the questioning with Betsy Palmer, please. Mr. X, was this a physical thing you did? Yes. Uh, did, does this involve a sport of any sort? Yes, it does. Does it involve um, water? No. Does it, is this sport played on the land? Yes, it is. Is it played uh, uh, with... Uh, Betsy, lest we lead you afield, it is it's in the broad field of, a field of sports, but I don't think you refer... I don't think you couldn't properly say that you play it. It's, a, it's in the field of sports, but... Uh, oh, you're just in it. <laughs> yes. All right. No, Gary? Okay. No, no, he, he is in it. I mean, I, I just didn't, didn't want you to... All right. I'm try, I'll, so I'll this try has to, to do with automobiles, away. then? Yeah. It does have to do with automobiles? Yes. It do with automobiles? Yes. All right, we've lost $20. We have $60 to go. We go, please, to Henry Moore. Well, then, you won something. That? That's a question. Uh, he said, did you win something for this? No, I didn't win anything. Oh, fine. <laughs> Were you involved in one of the well-known automobile races, such as the one at Indianapolis? No, not that time. Do you do... Is it... Are you in the go-kart field? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the little one-lung things. Um, it's not a baby's thing. I, I, you know, it's... A, um, the, are you in... Um, uh, uh, were you racing at the time you did whatever you did? Yes. Was it... Uh, like a rally? Was it more like a rally than over a, um, a regular course? No, it's it's. Uh, it was it not was not rally. it was not in a rally. That's about the safest thing you can say. And he was racing in the, in the broadest possible sense. Forty dollars down, forty dollars to go. You were racing very... in the broadest possible sense. Oh, were you not time. against time? Against broad. Were you not? <laughs> oh, in the Utah. I mean, in the, the salt flats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound like me. Is he right? Well, that's part of it, Bess. Uh, did you? Now, are we concerned with the uh, mileage that you covered in a record time? Yes. All right. Well, I don't know what it is, but did you cross country? Or did you just stay within... Go ahead, well, let's... <laughs> All right, let's get to Bill. Bill. Then we'll get back to Bill him. Bill knows. All right, Bill. Bill his, knows. his name better be Breedlove. Yeah. That's what it is. And it's Craig Breedlove. World's land speed record not propelled by wheels. I mean, uh, that not was... Not propelled it was... by wheels. Yeah. 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 You mean not propelled by, by conventional motor? Yes. Well, not driven by the wheels. It was driven by a jet, a pure jet. Henry, did you, have, did you have anything you wanted to say? No, it was just that I know you went... Uh, I wanted to ask him or something. You went... Oh, well, like, let me establish to the folks who, right. who, who don't read this kind of news because there are some segments of the population who just don't care about it and others who are wild for it. He is known as Craig Breedlove. Last month, out on the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah, driving his own car, he set a new automobile speed record at 407 miles per hour. Let me show you the car, and then if you have any questions afterwards, he has a model here that just makes you drool if you love cars. Ooh. Look at that thing. Would you look at that? Isn't that gorgeous? And the, the jet, airplane. of course, comes, comes out of here. Now, it's a magnificent car. Oh, you built this yourself, by the way, didn't yes, you? Yes, that's right, Gary. Uh-huh. It's, it's, how, how quickly does it get up to, up to speed? Well, it hits 450 seconds. 400 miles per hour in 50 seconds. How far would you have traveled in 50 seconds? Uh, four miles. Four miles yes, uh -huh. in 50 seconds. By that time, you're going four miles and you're just up to speed. Uh, what, what keeps it from taking off like a plane? I mean, it has, in here, it has vertical fins. I should think it would, it would tend to zoom. Yes, actually, Gary, the only thing that keeps it on the ground is the fact that it maintains a level attitude. If it hit a bump or, or changed its attitude, it could fly at that speed. Well, how do you, how do you stop this thing? Uh, it stopped with parachutes down to 200 miles an hour, and then at 200, you take over with aircraft brakes and stop it the rest of the way. 
I notice that up front here it has a, a fin that yes. looks like it's movable. Yes, it is. This is the high-speed control system of the car. It, uh, it, once the airspeed reaches 175, the fin takes over and controls the vehicle at high speed. And he was telling me about the, about the amount of give uh, that's in the yes. steering device. In other words, yes. if he steers too quickly that way, naturally, it's going to turn over. The preliminary stage of steering is through the front wheel, and this is good up to 175, and it turns eight tenths of one degree, which is a two mile radius. So it's in other words, it, it, very to turn around has to make a two mile circle. You see? Now, uh, uh, Craig, when you broke the record last month, you actually went faster than the 407 miles per hour, didn't you, at, at some time? Yes, the record speed is the average of uh, two runs in opposite directions within one hour. And the first run was 388, and the last was 428.37. Because the first time, he only had it about 50% open. Yeah. <laughs> second, second. The second run was 70% power, and uh, we will run the car in July or August of next year and try to make, break 500 miles an hour in full power. Well, Craig, just one more thing that any economy-minded motorist would ask first thing, first thing off. How many miles do you get on a gallon? Yeah. Uh, it's about five gallons per mile right now. <laughs> <laughs> five gallons per mile. You yeah. are a, a brave and tenacious young gentleman, and you are to be congratulated. Thank you, Craig, for Thank being you. with us.